Hello, and welcome back to Bionic Dews. On the last episode, we got the Epic Siege upgrade, which is dramatic, and I cannot wait to try it out. But the question is where, because we're now sort of, well, we finished a major objective. Um, so the question is where to go. Um, I'm sort of presuming that there are uh, epic upgrades on the map for the ninja and the assault. Um, and I sort of assume they're here, here, or somewhere in here. Um, obviously this is the most covered portion of the map, so I'm tempted to go this way. Um, just because it has a higher chance of being over there. Um, but how exactly to get there? Interesting that this doesn't appear to have a... A branch out this way um, but uh, for the moment we're pretty well equipped so I don't have a really strong feeling on what I want to check out that said um, we are looking at less um, less operations that will give us uh, good equipment and more that are like for progress of the like reducing levels and reducing numbers and things like that. Um, it does make me curious, especially after uh, taking a look at the equipment in the last episode, how much uh, it possibly makes sense to like in the early game um, grind out, you know, less productive missions and save some of these for later so that you can get like really good upgrades later on because I assume that the spawns are based on what day it is not where the where they are on the map because um, there's no like mission level indicated or anything like that so I have to assume that's the case right anyway um, so the question is which way do we go uh, I'm thinking that not the assassination we could do the salvage, pair one health point of the HQ, so maybe not. Um, we could do the command center, but that pushes everything up. There's really no good way to get in here, huh? I suppose I could do the science station. Or I could do this destruction mission. There's more missions than there are... Um, days remaining so I have to choose a little bit judiciously um hmm I'm also considering what I may open up. I wish this had, I, I don't know if that's actually not branching anywhere. A Disney, it really feels like there should be a branch there. Cause there's probably one there and then one there or there-ish. Um, I don't know. These are all irregular shapes anyway, I guess. Um, boy, no good, no good choices, really. Um, I'm going to end up doing the salvage one there anyway, if I go this way. Uh... I'm kind of tempted to try the assassination mission. Oh, wait a minute. They're not a good idea to attempt until there are only 30 to 40 days remaining or fewer. So 10 to 20 days in, I'm at 30 right now. Um, I don't know. I guess let's try and see if this is a terrible idea. Well, this could work to my advantage. There's a boss. 
It's only got 5,000 health. Retaliates with great conviction against whoever fired. Wow, that's not even a boss. That's like an ally. <laughs> Let's get this started. I just want to try this out. Oh, something can see me already. Interesting. Huh. Well. And maybe I shouldn't have done that with the science, but that's okay. It is killing its own bots. Is this a terrible idea? No, it's kind of working. Worst case scenario, I can try out one of these new weapons. Jesus, look at the size of that thing. Can I even fire that? I can't. Uh, I can. Look at the size of that, though. I don't think I can... F well... There's no place for me to actually see it, but I don't think I can fire it straight out because as I discussed yesterday, this horrible diamond shape that is totally inaccurate to size actually... No, I guess I'd still be out of the splash. Hmm. Let's just let this play out and see what happens. This is kind of hilarious. It's it's literally just an ally. As long as I don't shoot, it doesn't care. Well, it kind of bullies me and I can't move. That may be my mistake. Is it out of ammo? No, it's not out of ammo. Why is it not helping its friend? Uh, well, I need to get around it. At this point, I'm just having fun with it. Come at me, dudes. I dare you. Come after me and my bodyguard. I haven't fired once. This is hilarious. The question is, once I actually have to deal with it. I suppose I can kill it on these platforms, can't I? It'll take a while, but I can. Okay, that hurt. Okay, that doesn't work. That doesn't work once the silent spot shows up. Um, that was fun while it lasted, though. Now I at least know that, in theory, the mechanic works the way I think it does. What's the range on you? 11? Um, let's do something else dumb for shits and giggles. <laughs> let's just see what happens. Better zoom in so this doesn't take forever. And then we can try out the new plasma cannon. Well... We'll wait a couple more turns. That 
It's so weird that my, oh, you know what the problem is? The problem with my new weapon is it's limited by my vision cone. And because the siege has such terrible vision cone because I haven't set it up for anything better, the whole thing's a little bit fucked. Huh. I literally, well, actually, why is my vision going? To, no, my vision's being reduced. Why is my vision being reduced? Where's my vision? Uh, is there a... Is there a bot that's reducing my vision? Yeah, whatever that was, was reducing my vision. All right, I gotta take this shot. It didn't shoot at me or it did? I guess it did. This feels really cheesy, but hey, you know, I might as well ride it out. What are you? Oh. Hmm. Shields increased by 75% of the power of any attacks against her that do not kill her outright. What? First five shots that hit her. Okay, so you just plink at her with something weak. Or you use one of the Epic Siege's new weapons. Literally can't fire this because it'll kill me. What's the damage on this? Not enough to kill her. But this should be... Nope, that's also weakened. Did I get weakened? Or did, am I misremembering how strong the stuff was? Uh, well... Oof, okay. All right, that doesn't work. This guy's too strong. Interesting. I mean, this whole mission's a clusterfuck, but it's an amusing clusterfuck. Yeah, sure, why not? I was far enough out of the splash that how much did I do to myself? Oh no, I killed myself. Okay, never mind. Still, interesting. Why is my vision so bad? It's not normally that bad, is it? One, two, hold on. I can't tell what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and I believe that should be because I'm looking at the where the boxes should in this terrible diamond shape. I think it all has to do with this terrible diamond shape. Theoretically, I should be fine. But there's, yeah. So my, presuming my vision is 10, which I don't, I'm not seeing the stat for it. No, sensor range 14, there it is. So why is it down to like, 
Hold on. Let's look at these. Is it blinding me? Is something bl I am so confused. I suppose I could stealth and get it at range and then fire, but that just seems... So it's two Tethys bots and two Scorpion bots and then who knows what else. worked. Boy, I'm not taking a lot of damage, which I'm pretty, pretty happy about. Uh, it's interesting to actually see how much damage reduction there is based on the splash distance. Because it actually gives me a better idea of how much of it, how much splash increase actually improves my total damage output, since it's not, it's not exponential. Hmm. What's your damn 356? Oh, except f if this might work because these guys are all going to redirect their damage. Yeah, that worked. Is this just, is the overkill a waste? Because... I think it is. Because it's just going to redirect it to the scorpion bot and kill it. And any overflow is not going anywhere. Interesting. Thankfully, I've got another scorpion bot to uh, look after me. Okay, it's now it's dead. So, oh, did it just shoot through the wall at me? I think there was another one up there. I saw it target. I made a joke about that in the last episode. Can I, is there a weapon that goes through walls? Oh, fuck. There is. And I have it. <laughs> I made a joke about how there's no way the map would support it, but it does if you have the right weapon. Okay. Come on. Help me out, Scorpion Bot. No, you're supposed to defend me. Fine, I'll do it myself.
Did it take two turns? That was weird. Okay. I'm now starting to see some of the pitfalls of my my wacky plan. Hmm. So it doesn't make sense to infect this thing because it's already pretty much on my side. I could infect the Tetha spot. I really haven't been using a bunch of the mechanics that I have. Um, including infect the infection in the mines and the sentries. Huh. Okay. Okay. I still don't understand why it was not defending me before. That's okay. How many torpedoes do I have? Or how much? So I could, can I one sh No, it's not even. Hmm. If I deploy a sentry turret, does the. Does that thing get mad at me? It doesn't. Oh, but it does shoot it. Interesting. Once again, that might have been a waste given the redirection properties, but... Are you disabled? Why are you not moving? Oops, okay. Huh, all right, here's the downside. Oh, God. W will it fire twice because... Well, it doesn't matter, okay. Interesting. Maybe I need to kill the scorpion bot faster. Rocket launcher disabled. But wh why? How? Disabled by the scorpion bot? I guess that must be it, right? Is that a thing you can do? Didn't tell me you could do that. Okay. That's fucked up. Don't want that. Hmm. I'm glad I put that save at the beginning of the level so I can always go back to it. But... Trying to maximize my splash and my healing before people start taking shots at me. Um, oh, it's a. Oh, fuck, I forgot. The vision thing. Tethys bot is the problem. The silence bot isn't helping anything, but it's... Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, this is a trickier challenge than I initially thought. Okay. So I need to give better consideration to killing the scorpion bot, or at least making it less of a threat to me in some capacity. Cool. I think that was pretty good. I might as well save that. Um, okay. You know, suddenly there's a reason to use this pistol. Oh no, because it only disables its movement, not the attacking. So, nope, I take that back. Okay, there's going to be more redirection. And let's see, Hunter Bot, Tethys Bot. Is it going to kill the Tethys Bot? Because if it doesn't, then I'm digging myself a grave. But I think between these two silence bots... I want to make sure I can tank the damage as well. That should be good because that'll probably take out this scorpion bot, although it fires first. Uh, okay. Weird, the epic science now has better damage reduction uh, and regen than the assault. Um, though interestingly I could kill it now. Oh, you know what? I'll live with that. Ooh, that was... Bad, I can't survive that, okay. Switch the assault. All right, we're getting pretty close here. Ninja bot. Um, problem is, of course, that At some point, I will just be left with the scorpion bots and they will kill me. Unless I hack them. Or stealth pass them and get out of range. Which I suppose is an option. Oh shit, I was hoping that thing would kill itself on the spikes. Um, perfect, all right. Why is this one not moving? All right, mom, you don't need to ride my ass like this. Come on. Oh shit, is it just gonna box me in if I try and get in here? Hmm. I suppose I could mine it to death, couldn't I? Can't mine directly under it, though. Oh, the attack power on the mines is actually crazy strong. Holy shit! I have 112 of those and they do 1260.
Fuck me, all right. I should have been paying more attention to that stat when I was creating them. Sweet. Very useful. All right, cool, I'll remember that. Shield recharge station, perfect. Don't mind if I do. Might have been a little premature. I didn't technically need to do that, but. I don't think there's a whole lot of mission left after this. I guess we'll find out. Um, you know, let me make sure I'm out of range of it and then kill this thing. Although I think there is that one lurking. Yeah. That was a mistake. Why didn't I save before I did that? I really regret doing that. Uh, yeah, I can redo this. Okay. <laughs> oh, I could also suppose, I, no, it's kind of smart actually, okay. Puppy dog, come on. Okay, so how do I kill this one? It can do 356, which I can tank like half of. And that's assuming its friend can't see me. Which, I don't know what it's... I'm assuming it's probably another scorpion bot that's 11 range. But I just don't know. The alternative... Is to... Blow it up with the siege from range. But even then, I'm still going to take a shot. because my vision is so terrible. Oh, can I catch both of them? Hold on, how far does it... Oh, literally anywhere in the splash zone it'll die. Let's give this a try. See if I can catch both of them, or at least part of, them, part of the other one. I only need to be at 11, right? Hold on. That's got to be more than 11 there. I wish I could see actual damage numbers because I can see it looks like it's going to kill it. But, well, I also don't want to kill myself. So, got to be careful of that. Remember, kids, don't bomb yourself. Okay. Cool. That worked. So for now, it's going to be a pain in the ass to open anything up because I'm going to get shot for doing it. <laughs> um, oh, and I'm out of the plasma cannon. That's okay. Um, chain gun has a range of 10. Who's got a better range? 13 on the assault light machine gun. Thirteen will do. 
Well, maybe it won't actually. Because I need to be thir I need to be eleven away from that thing. You know what? I can just bomb it. What am I? What am I even worried about? Yeah, just enjoy some grenades, rockets, whatever. That was pretty easy. Let's see if there's anyone else. Uh, that should be the end of it, right? It says zero, so I should be able to walk out of here if I want to, but I want to unlock everything. It's nice having lots of hacking points. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Just in case we need it. Um, okay. Stealth actions. Well, we used a few on the assault, so we better use it with the assault. <laughs> Waste not, want not. Okay. That's everything. That was not too hard for a very difficult mission. Hard to complain. underwhelming loot but hey you know that was not not so bad it's kind of fun I mean more th these I, I I'm enjoying all of these but the this um this was an, a neat twist the the different kinds of bots really makes a big difference you know rather than just firing off dumb bots from range a hundred at a time all right Let's see what we got. I don't think we picked up a whole lot, but um, energy cell of extension, 98% ammo capacity, plus one attack range. It only works on laser weapons. Well, do I have a slot for you? Really? Um. How does that work? Plus 98, plus one attack range. Replacing this does not increase the plasma. What? Is something else buffing that? No, but it should also buff the replacement. What? It's the same item with a different item type. Like it's got the same stats, but this one doesn't have the same stats. What? Somebody explain this math to me because that seems wrong. It's not, what am I missing? All it does is suck more power, but it's, that's not right. <laughs> I don't get it. That's weird. Okay. Well, not the welding laser, fuck that. Um, we could get some more Shots for the laser rifle, but that's not so useful. Plus 98% ammo capacity. And it's not, unless there's a hard cap on percentage increases. But I don't think that's the case. 
otherwise straight up remove hold on otherwise straight up if that was the case then straight up removing this item oh hold on I yeah I'm bad at math I have my brains fried um the problem is that it's going from ammo the ammo is going from it, because it because of the way it does the math with the percentages, uh, an increase of twenty one percent ammo capacity plus ninety eight percent ammo capacity plus fifty four percent ammo capacity is the same percentage increase as ninety eight plus ninety eight plus twenty one. It does not add one more bullet because it would need to be it would need to go up to three hundred percent to get another bullet. Is, I think I have that math right. So anything between 200% and 300% is an, incre an increase of 1 to 3, not to 4. I don't know if what I said makes any sense, but it does to me. Um, well, I mean, boy, I'm really... I've really kind of over-optimized some of these things, huh? It's not that productive to slot them into a lot of these places. There's no, like, direct upgrades for a lot of these things. Or they compromise too much in other places. Um, I suppose I could probably reshuffle all of the items and, like, optimize each each weapon and and module to like optimize one particular thing rather than being jack of all trades. But as we've seen, there's like diminishing returns on a lot of these things. Um, that is the downside, like I, like I was saying, percentages are better in the late game, but there's also diminishing returns because of the way it does the math on the percentages. And then there's the secondary diminishing returns on things like splash damage and stuff like that. So. I don't think that's placeable anywhere use. Well, I mean, if if I'm not gonna if I'm gonna use it, I might as well. If I have it, I might as well use it somewhere, yeah. No, but then it just eats up all the and uh, no, it's not even worth it's not even worth it on the ninja. All right, moving on. Um, let's see about this barrel. Sixty-five percent attack power, twenty-one percent ammo capacity. Um, that's actually not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. I'd rather not lose the range on it. That's almost the same. 73. Oh, no. And that gives purple. Well, no, it's the same 55, 48. So, yeah, we'll drop it in there. Um, unless there was somewhere else that was useful. Let's see. I don't think anywhere else is going to benefit from it more. I think the trade offs are too great. Not that we can't sacrifice some range on some of these things, but oh, before don't let me forget to um, try to improve vision on on the siege. Uh, no, it's not worth putting on the. Oh boy, my brain. Um, could put it on the light machine gun, but again, it's a waste. It's not what the ninja's here to do. Oh, hey. Could improve the chain gun. That's a better use of it. Although it is a pretty 
and substantial increase. That might be better, although I lose some regen, but it's not a huge amount of re I Oh, well. My six power need by parts of the same system. So is that subtracting from all of the... I should swap these out at some point, see if I can't slot something in there that has better secondary effects. Um, yeah, let's, let's put it in here because it is more effective there. And then we can take that part and put it in here. Right? Yeah. Everybody gets a buff instead of just one. Spread the improvements around. Okay, let's see. Capacitor with propulsion stats. Um, that's a f straight upgrade, but that is the ninja. Let's see. Nope. That's not terrible. Losing a little bit of sensor range. 10 is cutting it pretty tight on sensor range. I'm not thrilled with that. But improving power is a worthwhile endeavor. Let's see. I mean, the fact that it's a flat upgrade is hard to argue with, so. All right, Sparky powered after produced 42, minus 34%. You invite parts in the same system, 16% total power generation. This might be good since the siege has so many weapons. Yeah, that gives me a ton of um, options and I only like especially if I have this throwaway light machine gun which honestly at this point I'm realizing hey it might it may even benefit me to decrease its power so I have something to fire with like with that last enemy where firing on it gives it shields you know do as little damage as possible right make as ineffectual as possible um Yeah, seems pretty good. Um, and then we could even potentially swap one of these for something more useful. It's a lot of damage reduction though. Let's see. Hmm. Getting some extra max shields would not be anything to scoff at. Actually, hold on. That's such a minor decrease. Oh, but that decreases sensor range again, too. Why is that? Hmm. Fits in propulsion shields reactor, fits in propulsion shields reactor. Um, actually, oh, oh, wow, that's a huge decrease. 30% total power, right, because we've now got stacking percentage power generations. Um, hmm. It's not, it's only 200, it's only like 260 extra shields. It's not quite worth it. 
But I suppose if I need to redo my builds at some time, that's something to have in mind. You know, I haven't looked at the store in a while. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see about vision. I really haven't used this thing at all. Um, plus sensor range, that's what I want. Reactor of inquiry. No. Uh, oh, that's contextual. Okay, so I would have to put it in the computer slot. Actually, I could I could do that, right? I would reduce my hacking points though, and those hacking points are super useful. Um, anything. Plus one sensor range. That's fine with me. Again, the light machine gun's a throwaway at this point. Plus one sensor range, plus one sensor range, plus one sensor range. Plus 15% to all shield related stats. That's actually a big win in a lot of categories, potentially. Um, but it only fits in the reactor and I kind of don't want to make that trade off. Oh, and this one's better. I suppose I could rebuild something to stack shield percentage, but again, these are all going in the reactor. And even on the Epic Siege, which has four, I don't have enough reactor slots to make that a worthwhile endeavor. Unless I did all my power generation outside the reactor, which is just goofy, but mechanically is a thing I can do. Um, hmm. Well, I think I'm just gonna use these because they uh, they provide the least downsides in terms of the side effects to the rest of my balance. Um, my build, that is. Balance of my build. Okay, let's see. Trap skill and stealth actions. Who wants it? Uh... Not really worth it might be worth it. No, but it costs so much extra power. Um, speaking of which, can I put anything in there without losing all of the Hey, text box, fuck off, please, so I can see what I'm looking at. Hmm. That only fits in the reactor. And I really like to keep that. Hmm. Do I have just a straight up better reactor? No. Maybe I can buy one though. Nine hundred power. Fits in reactor plus four hundred twenty one max shields. Whoops. I think I have to buy that one on principle, most likely. 960. But I might buy it anyway, just on, again, on principle, because that increase, that shield increase. Yeah, I'm going to buy that. Oops. This the one? Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
propulsion related stuff. Uh, did I do a dumb? That's good for the... It's a straight upgrade for the siege, so it was not... It was not a dumb, but... Um, and that actually frees me up to... Uh, take some power out somewhere else and use the slot for something more productive. Although I'm getting starting to get a little bit pissed off because I the numbers don't really mean anything. The the colors don't really mean anything. The icons don't really mean anything. They don't tell you which slot they go in. They don't tell you what kind of buff they necessarily give you. Like, it's all very random. Like, I appreciate that in theory, but it requires moderation. Like, I appreciate that you can put a reactor in your propulsion slot or um, put shields in the, in the, uh, the computer slot or something like that, but like, has to be done with a, you know, some tact. <laughs> um, sure, why not? Give myself some extra durability, huh? Though it would be nice to get some additional damage. Hmm. See, now I'm looking at the store again, wondering. If... Oh, these are all on layaway. Oops. Uh. And these are all like way out of date now. Yep, okay, I screwed that up. Now I know why not to put shit on layaway all the time. All right. I mean, other than the obvious, you know, blown shark gouging stuff. Too real. Um, all right. Trap skill, attack power, probably not worth it. Nope, too much loss. Trap skill, stealth actions, again, probably seems too much else in other classes. Uh, oh, this interface. I hate that I can't scroll. I hate that I can't back. There's no mm. interface. It's just terrible. Virus points and 35 regen. This has got to be an upgrade for someone, right? It only decreases by a little bit, and it gives you a bunch more virus points, so sure. The problem here is that I am building them very specialized, so I'm, I'm betting on my ability to outmaneuver. Basically, if anyone dies, I'm up a creek. Um, so I'm betting that I am so good at the strategy part of it that nobody dies. Which is, well, it's great until it's a problem. <laughs> is that everything? That was everything. Okay, cool. All right. Well, that was fun. And we got some new gear and we're we're getting there. So, I will see you guys next time.